The Diebel Institute was set up in 2011 to really strengthen the research base that underpins AAHA policy making. Building on a relationship we've had with John Diebel, the co-author of Universal Health Policy in Australia, uh, we decided to set up a research institute in partnership with seven founding university members. Well, well, now I've, uh, I've been involved in healthcare for uh, 57 years <laughs> and I was in Melbourne at the Peter McCallum Clinic, that was when I first went into healthcare. Ended up in the Institute of Economic Research, which was set up in 62. Um, and in the course of that, developed the proposals for national health insurance in 1968, which came in four years later. I took on the role of the director of the Diebel Institute as I saw it as a really exciting way of connecting health policy makers, practitioners and researchers. And in my past work experience I've worked in those three sectors, in, in policy making departments, in academia and in health services and so I was very well aware that all of those people had really valuable things to contribute to health policy. I also recognise how hard it is to bring those three together so I saw this opportunity as a really wonderful way to try and to do that. What's novel about the Diebel Institute is that it's actually interested in health services and how health services improve people's health and also about health policy and how health policy allows services to succeed or fail. A lot of health research in Australia is very fundamental medical, clinical research, but this is really looking at the health systems issues and the health policy issues, bringing together policy makers and practitioners with researchers. We have seven universities across Australia that have signed up as members, as founding partners of our organisation and they're the ones that have initially funded the initiative and are taking a really key role in setting the strategic direction of the organisation. That's um, a wonderful opportunity for those universities because the Diebel Institute is very novel and so it gives them, I guess, a foot in the door of something quite new and cutting edge and they're able to shape how we do this kind of knowledge translation in Australia. I think there are a number of different things um, that's very interesting about the Diebel Institute. It brings across universities across Australia, so it's not a singular institution. It works with AAHA as a peak organisation for industry, so again it picks up the providers. And I think from there you're really getting both the practical co-face experience of delivering care, as well as the academic, theoretical, research-based knowledge. And together, it makes a much better set of ingredients to think about good policies. One of the great successes we've had to date is that we have started to produce uh, short publications called Evidence Briefs that synthesise the evidence in an area. We feel like we've really hit the, the nail on the head with these publications because they're relevant to policy makers. They can understand them and they find them really useful. The other thing that we're really proud of at the Diebel Institute now is that policy makers are starting to come to us when they need some research done. So they've got a question and then we go and find some academic experts who are able to do that work for them. So it's a really tangible link between policy makers and researchers and those things probably wouldn't have happened without us being the intermediary. Now it's early days and you know the, these things, you play the tree, it takes a long time to get above the ground but this is above the ground and it'll grow.